Hello everyone. We all know that when a charged particle moves in a magnetic field, it experiences a force which we name it as a magnetic Lorentz force. Now, we will see that this magnetic Lorentz force, when acts on the charged particle, the work done by this force is zero. And in this video, we are actually going to prove that the work done by the magnetic Lorentz force is zero. So, go through the video very carefully and see to it everything is clear. In the topic you can see, work done by a magnetic force on a charged particle is zero. Now, to understand the concept, the magnetic force acting on a charged particle moving with velocity v in a magnetic field b is given by q v cross b, where the direction of force is always perpendicular to the plane in which v and b is there. Or what we can say, for the velocity v, the force will be perpendicular to it. So, if this is the case, then v dot f dot v, f is the force which is perpendicular to v. From this relation we can see that because the cross product of v cross v is in the direction of force. So, v is perpendicular to f. So, f dot v will be f v cos 90 degree which will be 0. Now, the value of f is k o v cross v dot v. So, this is perpendicular to v. So, the dot product cos 90 which is 0. So, what we can have is force dot velocity of a charged particle moving in a magnetic field is 0. I hope up to this it is clear. Now, see, the value of force according to Newton's second law is given by mass into acceleration. Okay. So, this value of mass into the acceleration, the value of acceleration is given by dv upon dt that is rate of change of velocity in terms of differentiation it is dv upon dt for acceleration so you can see f can be written as m dv upon dt so this value of force can be put into this equation so f dot v the value of f can be replaced by this thing. So, let us see what comes out. f dot b. In the previous slide, we have seen that f dot b is 0 because f and b have an angle of 90 degree between them. The value of f is written as mass into acceleration. So, it is m dv by dt dot b is equal to 0. Now, see here, the two quantities we have, always remember one thing, a dot b is equal to b dot a. So, if we want to write, suppose this is a and this is b. So, a dot b can be written as a dot b plus b dot a and whole divided by 2 is there. So, whatever value we are actually getting, it is divided by 2 so that we get this value. I hope this is clear to you. M we have taken as common here and within bracket we have this term which is written twice. First time here as dv by dt dot v and the second time here v dot dv by dt they actually represent the same thing so the value is doubled so it is divided by 2 which is equal to 0. So if it is equal to 0 so we can write it in a bit different way here see m by 2 we are writing here m by 2, but at the same time, this 
formula if you remember d by dt of uv so differentiation of first function into uh, second function plus the second function into the differentiation of first function so the functions are v and v here so d by dt of the dot product of v and v only so this whole equation that is this whole thing is actually d by dt of the two function one is this another is this this is the product rule for the differentiation so we we can write it in this form m by 2 remains the same as it is m by 2 and we can write this form as d by dt of v dot b now v dot b v and v dot product and both of them naturally have the same direction the angle between them is 0 so it is v v cos 0 cos 0 is 1 so it is v dot v will be v square so d by dt of this 1 by 2 m we are taking inside so d by dt of 1 by 2 m and v dot v is v square so it is half m v square and we all know half m v square represents the kinetic energy so d by dt of the kinetic energy if it is represented by k so d by dt of the kinetic energy is 0 so we have written the same here d by dt of the kinetic energy k is 0 it means differentiation of a constant is 0 so that means kinetic energy is a constant quantity now if kinetic energy is a constant quantity you know work energy theorem which you have studied in uh, 11th standard it says that the work done on a body is equal to the change in the kinetic energy of the body so if the kinetic energy remains constant that means that there is no work done because if some work is done then the kinetic energy naturally will change but there is no change in the kinetic energy change in kinetic energy is zero so the work done is zero so according to the work energy theorem if the kinetic energy remains constant then the work done is zero so that's what does a magnetic force does not change the kinetic energy of the particles because we have seen that the kinetic energy remains constant this indicates that the speed of the particle does not change according to the work energy theorem the kinetic energy is equal to the work done on the particle by the net force hence the change in kinetic energy is zero so hence the work done on the charged particle by the magnetic force will be zero so i hope that this is very clear to you any doubt you can post me the doubts Thank you.